So on the northwest coast of Tasmania, we're a very big farming community. So everywhere you drive in every direction, you will see farmland. I'm Belle Binder, I'm from Sprayton, which is around 10 minutes out of Devonport in Tasmania. We've got five children, four boys, one girl, four teenagers, one toddler, so there's a lot going on in our house. We've got two dogs and a cat called Sushi. So about four or five years ago, my husband and I decided we'd try and find a business to flip and we came across a labour hire and it was actually making money, but it was sort of stuck in the Stone Ages a little bit. But we took this over and we thought, wow, the potential that this had to actually modernise it, systemise it. And so we turned it completely upside down, rebranded the whole thing and systemised it. Um, fast forward a year, um, because I promised myself I would just sustain it how it was for a year to learn ag and to understand where everything all fit, um, I quickly picked up that things weren't working quite as well as they could be in agriculture in that people weren't working as a team. Um, we weren't getting productive workers with good attitudes because the formula wasn't there to make it work. And so I started to go, okay, there's time to make some changes here. My project is the farm work loop. So what we do is we vet the farms to make sure they're a safe farm for our workers, so they're not going to be yelled and screamed at. But on the other hand, we vet the workers, so they've got a really good working attitude, good work ethic. But they're also going to be productive. They really want to be there. So the benefit for the backpackers is they can travel around Tasmania while working, but for the locals, they can condense that down into an area and keep on working in and get the stability of those hours. For the farmers, you've got a whole skill sharing workforce, both local and backpackers. So there's so much diversity and also stability in that workforce. The goals for my project are to pilot this in Tasmania and then roll it out into other states. We're heading into a direction which is more like a Kentucky tour, but for farm work. So this allows people to experience farm work, but also experience Tasmania. We've got a beautiful state here, so why not combine the two and make it a little bit of an agritourism experience? I think farm work can get a bit of a bad rap. What I'd like to see is backpackers get excited about completing their 88 days and combining that with something that's actually exciting and driving them to want to experience it as a working holiday, as it's meant to be a working holiday. And that locals can also experience that same thing and in turn, our farmers be looking forward to having quality workers with great attitudes that are excited to be there and also locals that want to be part of that partnership and build something with them. The farm work loop has the potential to completely change agriculture in Australia. So others can learn the formula on how to build those really strong partnerships with our farms, but also that inspiration to spread it across the country. And we could showcase the world on how we can better formulate our partnerships and completely change our whole industry. Being a woman in ag, and especially in a regional area, it was definitely challenging when I walked into agriculture four years ago. It was almost like, who's this princess walking out on a farm? But I think with time, I've really built the respect and I'm here to make a change and I'm here to make a positive change for all of Australia, especially in the farming environment where I'm told it's always been that way and good luck changing it. Uh, my attitude's sort of been, well, you watch me. <laughs> <laughs>